right, hunting, fishing, and loving every day is a big hit for Luke Bryan, who co-wrote the song along with Dallas Davidson, Rhett Aikens, and Ben Hayslip. Uh, there's really a lot of cool guitar work going on in this song. We're going to learn a couple different options on the acoustic. The studio version is going to have a capo on fret 5 and drop D tuning. Um, there's a lot of riff work that we're going to learn along with the basic strumming uh, up here on the neck. And then we'll also learn a bonus easy version uh, in standard tuning with no capo using key of G chords. On the electric guitar, it's really just uh, a lot of riffs. Um, there's not a lot of repetition, so there's a lot to learn, uh, including two really nice solos, one in the bridge and one in the outro. There's a quick bonus tutorial that's going to teach an easy way to play this song with no capo in standard tuning uh, using key of G chords. Another good use for this version is if you're performing with more than one acoustic, you certainly don't need both acoustics capoed up uh, playing the key of D chords shapes that we learned in the studio version. So a good way to do it would be to have one person playing the studio version and another person uh, playing down here using no capo in standard tuning. All right, so the three chords we need are G, and then we're going to do a variation on an F and a standard C. So the pinky finger is going to stay down on the third fret of high E the whole time here. We've got third fret of the low E string. We'll mute the A string for the G here. And we've opened D, G, B in the third fret of high E. This tutorial is going to cover the studio version strumming uh, with the capo on the fifth fret and drop D tuning. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to cover the studio version riffs, and the riffs are all tabbed out right beneath the video player, and we're just going to go over those in order that we see them on the tabs uh, in the next tutorial. But for right now, on this tutorial, we're just going to be covering the strumming. Um, we really only have two different kind of sections we're going to need to know. You can get through the whole song without playing any of those riffs by just playing one of these two sections. During the softer sections, the verses, choruses, um, we're going to be playing this. This tutorial is going to cover the studio version riff work uh, that we hear on that recording. It's optional. You could get away with pretty much playing that strum pattern we learned in the other tutorial through the entire song. Uh, but it's some really nice acoustic guitar playing, and it's in the recordings, of course. I'm going to teach it. It's also tabbed out right beneath the video player, and that's how we're going to be learning these. Um, we're just going to go right in the order of the tabs beneath the video player at SixTrainCountry.com. So the first thing we need to learn is the introduction to the whole song. Uh, here's how it sounds. Then we'll break it down. Mm -hmm. 
lot going on on the electric guitar in this song. Uh, this tutorial, we're going to do everything except for the solo. So we'll cover all the background support lines that we hear throughout the whole song, intros, outros, verses, choruses. And then uh, in a different tutorial, we're going to cover the bridge solo and the post bridge solo riffs. And then in another separate tutorial, we'll cover the outro solo. Uh, so as we're going through this, we're just going to be following the tabs uh, in the order that we encounter these in the song. The tabs are right beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com. Um, we've got a pretty trebly country tone. I got it on my bridge pickup here. Uh, there's quite a bit of gain on this and that interesting effect that you hear, I believe, is a phaser. Uh, so if you have a phaser in your repertoire, uh, put that on for most of the song. I take the phaser off uh, for the solos just to make those pop out a little bit more. Um, so let's start with this first intro riff. Sounds like this. One, two. All right, and one thing about this song is uh, you'll see in this tutorial we're going to cover the electric bridge solo, and then uh, we're also going to catch all those tasty riffs that kind of happen during the bridge part, the softer bridge part, um, after the solo too in this tutorial. This is all tabbed out uh, right beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com, so I'm going to play it all nice and slow but in tempo, then we'll go through it note by note, and then we'll turn on the metronome and play through everything at full speed. Here we go. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the outro solo for this song, and it's really basically all double stops. Same kind of position up here in um, position 5 pentatonic in the key of G. So uh, it's all tabbed out right beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com. Uh, I'll play through it nice and slow but in tempo, then we'll go through it note by note, and then at full speed with the metronome. Here's how it looks. One, two, three, four, go. One, two, three, four, go. 